Hello and welcome to my supporting your pieces during firing. Um, this is a lesson about how to support various different shapes and um, objects throughout the firing process. Because sometimes when you're firing, if you're not careful, the, um, the pieces can slump. And that's because the temperature of firing gets so high for the silver and the silver becomes quite soft when it's in firing and it's moving around and it's sintering and what can happen is that the weight of the silver can push in on itself and cause some distortion and while sometimes it's a happy accident most of the time if you've designed a piece you want to keep it in the same shape so i've got some some examples to show you how i would support something in firing um, and this doesn't really matter if it's firing by hand or firing um, in, in the kiln. Both of these, these solutions will work for either. Okay. So what are the, the support options for you? So this is a little crucible. It's a ceramic crucible. And it's just filled with... Um, what's called vermiculite and vermiculite is a fireproof prior retardant um, product that is also used in gardening um, for kind of holding on to moisture so it's quite an incredible little product um, and what you do this is this is what you can use to support now you don't need a crucible or um, an object to hold the vermiculite in you can take it and put it in a pile on your surface I'm not doing that because every time I have to change over it's going to make a mess so I'm not going to do that but you can you can take some and just put it on your your firing block so be aware of that and um, this is a very fine vermiculite and I would say to you that if you're choosing to buy vermiculite I know that you can get it cheaper from garden centres um, for less than you can at some metal clay outlets. However, you have to make sure that it's it's of this size because the, the ones in garden centres are much bigger. So take a knife, you can chop it up. Um, it's quite soft, it's not hard um, and you can chop it up and you can use it um, and make it finer. And the reason that you would probably want to make it finer is sometimes um, the vermiculite can cause pitting on the surface of your silver. So you want to um, make sure that it's as small as you can. Okay, so this is my little ceramic cru crucible. Um, and I also have a larger um, box, um, no flake. This, this is a steel box. It's, it's been made from no flake foil. Um, and this one has lasted me 10 years um, so it's really old and it does a it does a great job and it basically does what it says on a tin so it doesn't flake when it's in your kiln because if you put a stainless steel container in your kiln sometimes that can flake off and what happens is you build the box and you fasten it with staplers and occasionally the staples will burn away and then you just replace them and carry on and the the box tends to it's not a it tends to last quite a long time. It's not a thing of beauty, but it's really useful. And uh, it also means that I have a larger area, so I can put more than one object in. The crucible is, is quite a bit smaller. This is kiln pillow. And this kiln pillow, um, I'm not entirely sure what it's made of, but I really would handle it with caution and be very careful breathing in the little um, particles that it produces. Um, I don't think it's very, it's, they're not very good for your um, lungs. So be very careful when you're pulling things apart because you can pull it apart. It's very malleable and you can pile it up and you can manipulate it. Um, but be, as I say, be very careful when you're handling it. Um, and this is soft and it, it can be used for supporting things as well. Obviously, it's it's fireproof as <laughs> too, so it won't go up in a ball of smoke in your kiln. And it's reusable as well, as is the vermiculite. And this is the other thing that I use sometimes. I use um, blocks. These are just normal firing blocks. Um, and these are ceramic as well. And basically, I use them for support too. And I'll show you, I've got a piece to show you how to use the, that. Okay, so let's get on to the first piece. 
So this is the first piece. Um, it's a flower and it's curved and it has a bale on the back. And the thing is that what I want to do is when I've made it, I wanted to have a slightly curved effect, um, like a more pe petal like effect. And I wanted to pre I want to preserve that. And obviously I have a bale at the back. And if I was to put it here, and if I was to fire it flat um, with no support, then what I would probably find is these leaves would slump back down and it would flatten out quite a bit. Um, the weight of the, the bale and the, what would happen is that would probably lift a little bit more, which ultimately would be fine, but the, the petals might sink back down. So I definitely want to be able to, to, to support this. And... One of the ways is to do in vermiculite. So you basically put it in and then kind of work its way down until it's nice and supported. And I wouldn't have any vermiculite in the centre if I could help it. So pick that out. And that would be, that's how I would fire that. Um, I would just leave it as it is. And the bale's supported, as you can see, the petals are all supported and it's a nice curve and it will come out like that too. You can also use the kiln blanket. You can use the kiln blanket interchangeably with vermiculite, but sometimes vermiculite wins out and sometimes kiln pillow wins out. It really depends. So you can tear pieces off the kiln blanket like this and you can open it up. So it's a little bit, um, it's got a little bit of a a divot in the center and what, what I would do is I would just basically kind of again settle it down in there and gently just curve the kiln pillow around it so it's kind of wrapped up in a little sleeping bag if you like it's very cozy and that's how I would film fire that the next is a bead and it's a it's a double sided, it's curved on both sides. So if I was to fly it, fire it flat like that, then the weight of this part would press down and you would end up getting a flat bottom on your bead, um, which if you've not designed it like that, is not something you want. And again, very, very similar to the flower, vermiculite, pop it in vermiculite and nestle it down, twist it down until it's, it's level with the vermiculite and you just leave it like that and it will fire nicely. Um, also, if again with the, as the same with the flower, open up the the kiln pillow and just support it by just cuddling it in, like so. And you've got a nice um, supportive wall around it so that it stays there as it should. Now this is a flat pendant with a bale on the back. And if I was to fire it flat like that, what would happen is this end would curl up and um, that's not what I'd want. So I need to make sure that it's level so it can fire properly. So you can fire it in the, in the vermiculite as, as shown and you'll find as long as you get it, you show it's a nice flat table here, it should fire fine. Um, and you can also fire it in the kiln pillow but I would make sure that there was a bit of an overlap for sort the from the bale to be sitting on the kiln pillow um, and not supported by the kiln pillow so much, but making sure this, this bit is flat. Or the easiest way that I do it, and I like doing it, is with these blocks. And basically, you would just set it on between two blocks like so, and you would fire like that. And that also works for things with ring toppers, for example. So you could lay the ring on the side and have the top of the ring um, lying off the, off the end. And that would help too. But it also de it would depend on the type of ring topper that you had. So if it was a bezel cup, for example, that would work really well. But if it was a really weighty flower or a we really weighty top, um, then I wouldn't do it like that. I would fire it in um, vermiculite standing on it standing on its end so that's that one this one has a bale and it has a dome 
And so I want to be able to preserve that dome as much as I can and um, with the and not have the bale impact on it and um, this, is this part of the of the setting have that bent. So I want to make sure and this is this is a you can do this with vermiculite by kind of piling it up a little bit in the center, making sure there's a little mound if you like, then placing it on top and nestling it down and that just makes sure that the vermiculite kind of fills that dome and supports it um, so that it doesn't fall in on itself and flatten out um, and the bale is supported as well. You could also do this with the same kind of the same same way so get a with kiln pillow so get a bit of a piece of kiln pillow perhaps another little bit and prop it up and have the bale um sitting on top um so it's domed so fill again the idea is to fill that center with the kiln pillow and um allow that that's making sure that that's supported like so okay now this is an object that is um it's a bead and it's a cylindrical bead and normally i would just probably just fire it kind of standing on its end like that um I'm not too worried about the weight of this part pressing down because this is a cylinder and pretty strong. So it's likely to stand just fine by itself. But if you wanted the belt and braces approach, this is where the, the, the other um, tin comes in handy because it's far deeper than the, than the crucible here. And I would just open up so that the bead could stand on the bottom of the, of the tin. And then pile up the the vermiculite to support it like that, so it's standing proud. And any of my little houses that I make, and um, the bird houses, I would fire like this, so standing up straight. There's not really an equivalent for the the kiln pillow in this, um, and I, I wouldn't use kiln pillow for supporting this this bead at all so um, that's where vermiculite might winnow out over the kiln pillow and finally I get a lot of questions about this type of bale um, so this is a flat pendant and it's got a looped bale around the sides as you can see here and it lies flat on the surface and my um, my advice with that would be not it doesn't need any support at all. Um, the the bale is lying flat on the surface as is the pendant itself. There's no curve or no shape on it at all, and um, supporting it is unnecessary. Um, people ask me if I if they should put something through this the center of this, and whilst that is something you could do, it's something I wouldn't advise because actually this is really fragile, and if you if you were to try and put a little bit of kiln pillow through there to support it, then you'd find that your chances of breaking the bale off before it's even fired is actually quite high. So I would just be <laughs> I would leave that. That's too much of a faff for me, but. Um, Yes, that would survive just fine as it is, without any support. I hope this has been useful um, to you and you're seeing how different things need different support and hopefully it will make um, the question answerable when you next come to fire something a little bit more complicated than just flat. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.